Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so, Tribe to Squint here, back here again with another general intuitive energy read. Hope everybody's having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. We're going to tap right into this energy. And what I was getting here is that your person thought they have a victory with somebody and didn't turn out so well with the Empress in the reverse here. Okay, a third party they were trying to keep a secret from you. They gave it much thought. They decided to go over there and be with the third party. Cheat on you. Um, if you guys are still together. They decided to go over there. There's nothing over there but a bunch of um, anxiety and worry and restrictions. Uh, it was like, you know, a controlled environment. Like, whoever this third party is, is very controlling. Like, they dominate your person or something like that. And they think they know a lot about your person and how to <coughs> manipulate them, you know, um, wow, like they know all your personal secrets and stuff like that, and as you're just like looking back at your person like, you know, like how could you go be with somebody like that, how could you leave me and go be with somebody like that with the three of wands here, like if you thought this person was going to be better than me or whatever, you know, uh, but your person did. Go along, be with the third party here. But it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. Okay, they was not able to move forward. They also didn't realize that this person, this karmic that they got with, was already in a third party relationship with somebody else. With the three cups being here, they were already in a celebration with somebody else. Okay, so now your person is sitting back. With little money, probably getting drunk, high, or whatever, to mask the pain. Okay. When they left you, they left a lot of their friends behind, too. Because this karmic was very controlling here. Okay. Your person is regretting that they walked away from you. And that they closed a the cycle with you here. Because now they're left with nothing but burdens from making an unhealthy decision. Somebody's person want to leave this karmic and come back to you and speak some type of truth here. But with the Seven of Cups here, it's like they can't, I don't know, they're not being realistic or they're still letting this person have some type of, this third party have some type of control over them, over their life, over their decision making. You know, whoever they got with is very controlling. They may want to communicate um, with you or tell you something. I mean, if they could, but it's like they're being they're they're being stopped like from even communicating with you. Here's what I'm getting here. This third party wants them to be burdened. You know, burdened. They they want to keep your person so busy. That they don't have time for you. Okay. Your person's trying to figure out a way to sneak away from this karmic though. And they regret that they even got involved with them. And it's really not what they wish for. Because with the Eight of Cups, so they want to walk away. Alright. Come back to you with an apology here. For accepting the, the offer. Okay. Because it, it was just too much for them. Too much for them. This person, whoever... Um, your person is they don't want to juggle you anymore and it's caused a lot of conflict with the um, third party is what I'm getting here so let's see what's here spirit tell us more about this uh, yeah they could be having financial problems here they could be having financial problems all right, this karma could be taken up for for everything that they have. There could be a lot of fighting and arguing over there. Um, with the police possibly being called here, okay? In this situation, your person hates they got themselves in there, but your person's been disloyal to you, okay? And whatever karma they got, with is very controlling, and it's almost like they they're controlling every aspect of their life here. And this is why you and your person is not on the same page because your person is being controlled by a, a manipulating ass. Um, karmic very controlling karmic be it feminine or masculine yeah 
this person is uh, this is third party is, is trying to make sure that you know that they're with your person it's not like they're trying to hide it it's like actually like they're trying to flaunt it in your face like you know i got control over your person or whatever they're gonna do what i say do you know what i'm saying this person could be like have bully type energy is what i'm getting here yeah this person could really be putting on a show you know and that's only because they're really envious of you you know what i'm saying they're really envious of you they do not want your person coming back towards you okay they do not want your person coming back towards you they're doing everything to keep you and your person apart to keep you guys arguing, to keep you guys, you know, stagnated, to keep you guys, you know, like, into it one another all the time. And this is a third party sending this dark magic, okay? Anyway, this is crazy because it's almost like they want you to find the evidence of your person cheating with them. Okay, they want you to find the evidence. It's like they're leaving a trail. Whoever this promiscuous bitch is right here, okay? It's like they're leaving a trail, okay? She actually wants your person to hate you, or he actually wants your person to hate you, or whatever. So, you know, they're doing a little devilish shit, you know, like trying to do um, spell work on your person or whatever. Make, you know, they're very controlling. Uh, and this person likes to argue, fuss and fight. You know what I'm saying? And like, they really want you to know that they have your person under control. But see, your person wasn't loyal, is what I'm hearing. I mean, your person might have even met them at the sex shop, okay? You know, your person could be very sexually active, and, and you know, this third party karmic is too. Okay, they could have possibly met at a, um, a sex shop, and ever since then, should your person's finances have been going down, okay? Well, like I said, whoever this third party is is already in another third party, okay? Uh, they're definitely into threesomes with other people, you know what I'm saying? Like, orgy type shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is somebody that your, your person thought they was attracted to. Thought they have a victory with this uh, karmic, but come to find out that this person was a manipulator. This person has secrets that your person didn't even know about, but your person fell for the bullshit and became disloyal to you. And now it seems like they can't get away from this karmic. Every time they try to get away from this karmic, this karmic, yeah, they, they want to cut this karmic out of their life, but every time they try, the, the, this karmic somehow persuades them, controls them. My nose keep itching. And it controls them to make them, you know, keep being stuck to them, bound to them some type of way. Even though your person may even know that this third party is sleeping with other people. Your person don't even understand or can get a grip on why they keep fucking with this third party karmic. Okay? Because they don't have nothing about you collective. They don't have nothing about you. They don't even know why they, 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 they cut you off. But for some reason, it's, it's almost like... This third party karmic has some type of edge over your person, like uh, holding something over your person's head or something like that. That's the energy I'm getting here. And that's where your person know they fucked up at. Giving this person too much information about themselves, too much information about you guys' relationship. You know, too, they was giving them too much of everything. And this karmic took advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, with sex, okay? Or when it comes to sex. Like, your person was, you know, like... How did that, what's the word they use? Um, damn, this karmic had your, your person's nose wide open. You know what I'm saying? Your person didn't see nothing but having a victory with them. But didn't see everything else that came along with this karmic. Okay? Yeah, your person could see nothing. They thought it was going to be a private relationship just between the karmic and them. But it didn't turn out that way. This karmic had a bunch of, bunch of other friends that was involved here and they all were fake they knew that your, your person was being used by this karmic and manipulated i mean this is what this group does okay i'm hearing group sex group sex but your person was enticed okay your person may have spent a lot of money at the sex shop for this karmic as well because like i said they do have a lot of group sex orgies and things like that and this is who your person went towards not knowing this person had a lot of secrets you know Wow, that this third party karma had a lot of secrets. That they wasn't only celebrating with your person and sleeping with your person. You know, they were sleeping with um the group. It's a group. Your person thought it was going to be a, a, a proper relationship just between them and the third party. But it didn't turn out that way. They had a lot of other fake friends around. <laughs> wow, your person got with a fake ass karma. Yeah, they know they fucked up. But see, this karma was very promiscuous though. Your person... Wow. 
your person is going to catch this uh, third party cheating and that's what's going to have them confused but they ain't going to know why they can't stop going over there and that's because this Corbin did a love by this film wow damn yeah and your person went towards a toxic karmic they had a lot of fake friends attached to them now your person doesn't understand why they can't move on they want to move on but they feel stuck they feel stuck being a part of this fucking fuck group here damn they don't want to hear you say they fucked up they don't want to hear you say that they don't want you to look at them like they're nothing Okay, because they, they they lost control of the whole situation. Going with this third party karmic. This third party karmic was nothing but a manipulator and a liar. And just was out to get what they wanted, you know. Told your person what they wanted to hear. They gassed the shit out your person. Okay? And your person fell for the dumb shit. And your person don't know how to tell you. Okay? Because they don't know how you would take it. How you would take it, you know, knowing they fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They got their stuff in a situation. He, whoever your person is, they're very depressed right now. They're very depressed of, of, of the bad choices they made. Okay. And the secrets that they kept from you, you know, lying to you. You know what I'm saying? About not cheating. Because they were. They play the game of cheating and they want to stop, you know. But for some reason, they can't. They can't stop. Okay. They can't get rid of this trash. They can't, because this, 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 this third party is very manipulating. They're nothing but total drama. Every time your person tries to leave, they start conflict. It's either a fight, you know, or, you know, the police is called or something like that. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who wanted to be you that could never be you. Okay? Wow. And they keep your person <clears throat> coming back. Like, it's like your person can't control their desire to want to go back over there. But they know it's, it's a fucked up choice to keep going there. But for some reason, they can't stop. So, this karma really wants your person to be shattered and broken and fucked up. Okay, because just, just, just so your person wouldn't be with you. They knew the exact way to get to your person. Like It's like they knew your person inside and out. Like they read your person inside and out. Like, wow. The only thing your person wants to do is go fulfill a fantasy with this karmic. You know what I'm saying? Get in, hit it, and quit it. But didn't it turn out like that? You know what I'm saying? This karmic did this shit specifically on purpose to manipulate your person to have your person destroyed, which would in turn destroy you in some sort of way. Okay? Because they simply was so jealous and envious of you that they couldn't, couldn't be you. Okay? This could have been a friend. This could have been anybody. Okay? Like. It's like, yeah, watching this shit go down, it's like all these other fake friends and shit that know, that, that know this karmic and your person is, is sneaking and cheating around with one another and they know your person have you, you know, and a commitment. They just sit back watching the show, watching the shit go down because whoever this third party karmic is, is a bully type energy here, okay? And there's no way that your person can get away from the shit that, been, that has been said about them because it's true. I'm saying whatever whatever people are saying that your person is doing is actually true. For some reason, your person can't stop this karmic from being so controlling, this third party karmic from being so controlling over them, okay? Wow. They've been secretly getting wrong with this person and... I mean, it's like when, it, when when this third party karmic call, they jump. Okay, you may have noticed your person just you know getting up, leaving, or telling you that they're busy lately, or you know they got something else to do, or you know they're not around you as much. Is this 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 third party karmic has there some type of love binding spell on your person? Because they want to destroy them, and your person thought it was you know. <laughs> Some, some type of love situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, or basically, they thought they can get in and hit it and quit it and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was all about sex. It was just all about sex, okay? Wow. This person, uh, this third party karmic was pretending with your person all along. And every time they, they get your person caught up in a fucked up situation, you know, they get on some sort of an apology, you know, but they just pretending, you know, so they can have sex with them again, you know. To keep having sex with them, to keep them, keep them coming back, they'll they'll create um, some conflict or argument or disagreement or something because they don't want them. This third party karmic doesn't want your person around you, so they'll create some type of argument or whatever, and um, 
and control them with sex is what I'm hearing. And there's no way that your person can can hide this because there's a lot of people that know. Like I said, it's like group sex or whatever. Your person has gotten into a relationship with somebody that's in a third, you know, that's in a third party already. And this third party is nothing but a sex group. When I say sex group, they like having orgies and stuff like that. And you know, they have um tapes and and things of that nature of your person being involved in this group sex. So your person know there's no way they can get rid of the evidence. So they they feel like they have no other choice but to keep sleeping with this karmic even though they don't want to they, even though they want to walk away from this karmic it's hard because they it's, it's like this karmic has is holding something over their head and and it's the secret that they don't want to get out to you that this is why they keep it's not that they want to continue to keep cheating this is supposed to be like a hit it and quit thing but it turned out this karmic tricked your person over into a group sex type thing okay it's kind of you'll ease them into it and shit and now your person just caught up in the shit and they don't know how to get out okay wow hmm i'm here to end up on further investigation i don't know where that came from but what else spirit Yeah, this 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 bully type energy, this karmic, this 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 um karmic masculine, karmic feminine, they need anger management because they got a motherfucking problem. They gotta go around controlling people just to make them have sex with them and stuff like that, and 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 do uh love binding spells on people. You know, this 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 person is working out of some nephromatic energy here. Okay, wow. And your person has not as sexual protection as a sleeping around with other people because they may use sexual protection, but your person is like numb. Okay, your person is numb. Your person wants to run away, but for some reason can't get away from this person. Okay, because this person keeps them like chained down emotionally to them. You know, with the with these um, sex tapes and so forth like that. That then when their karmic ass friends enjoyed filming. Or recording them when they had group sex, okay? But it's like your person like it doesn't even have control <laughs> over their own body anymore. It's like almost like this third party karmic is trafficking your person. And, you know, if y'all get what I'm saying, like traffic, they're using them at will when they want to sexually, like calling them, like, hey, you know, I need you over here now. I need you to get here now. That they don't get there on time. They create an argument with them or something like that. And you think that your person. You know, it's not into you. It it's not that at all. Your person's into you. Your person just slipped up, was unfaithful to you, committed infidelity, cheated behind your back, tried to keep it a secret, and got with a domineering third party who was already in the third party with somebody else, okay? And your person didn't know that this third party had all this shit going on. And once they got over there, you know, it's like they trapped them in, in the situation here. Okay, and your person's over there full of anxiety and shit and, and can't find a way out. You know what I'm saying? They want to come back and apologize to you. But every time they do, you know, and they want to open up and tell you about it, this third party karmic is so fucking controlling is that she's stalking and watching your person and, and everything that your person does. It, it's like they have total control over your person's mind and body. I mean, you know, like when they call, when they call them up, you know, they want them there right then and there as they plan to expose them for what they what they've done behind your back here and it always creates an argument with the, with the with the five of swords and your person is regret that they juggled you with this person because it's just too much for them it's too much for them they want to end it they want to end this third party because they're not happy with even having to deal with this third party anymore but they want to apologize to you is what I'm getting with that here. The Eight of Cups, they want to walk away. They wish they had to ever walk towards this, this karmic. And they, they want to reveal something to you. They want to talk to you about something. Okay, but the communication is slow because this third party is just keeping your person busy. You know, with, with everything just up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Your person doesn't don't know which way to go. You know, like, they keep your person confused. Okay? Wow, and your person feels bad because they really want to end it. They want it's like they're being tormented by this third party, okay? Um, help like cap captive mentally, cap captive and physically, especially when it comes to sex, because this person 
It's controlling this sex and your person is, is is full of anxiety, okay? Wow. They're waiting for things to change here, you know, to be able to get away, but it doesn't look like that's happening because they don't know that this person is doing a love binding spell on them. They don't understand why they keep going. And they feel like their life is all messed up here. It's almost like your person feels like they're out of options and they want to walk away. But it's hard to communicate the truth to you about what's really going on. And what's really going on with this dark group they got connected with. They feel like, you know, they're restricted. They, they're restricting your person's movement or what your person do. And, it, and it's making it look like your person's not there for you. When in fact, you know, your person wants to offer you love. But now they feel like like they've been so degraded, downgraded by what they've been, you know, by the third party and what the third party had them doing. And they don't want this information to get out. They want it to remain secret. So they, they constantly have to do what this third party tells them to do here. And they're not happy. This is not, they don't want to be with the third party. They do not want to be with the third party. But they can't walk away. This could be somebody from their past here. This person keeps a, a close eye on your person. Like every every movement your person makes here. Okay, but your person wants that shit to stop. But it's becoming too much for them, you know. And like I said, they're regretting juggling you here. Because it's been nothing but fighting over there. You know, like your person has been in mental conflict, physical conflict. Everything to where the police have had to be called here. Is what I'm getting here. Your person is wishing to find a way out. A way to sneak away from this karmi. But they're overwhelmed. Okay. Because they, they know that they did something that they shouldn't have done. And that was being disloyal to you. But they don't want you to find out about the third party. So they're not saying anything. It's making it look like your person is not being honest with you at all. They're, they're hoping that you don't know. That they slipped away and cheated. But... I mean, I don't know. I'm saying 22 here. That they cheated with this third, third party karmic. That was very, very foul. You know, and they feel like they can't move. They can't move. Wow. And you're looking like, what the heck happened here? Okay, you got a feeling that you may know um, about what this third party karmic is into. And why you you know what I'm saying you don't know that they got your person you know in a fucked up compromising position because they're so promiscuous and envious of you okay they really put on a show when your person come around and like I said whoever this is wants you to know who they are and that they got control over your person this is a controlling narcissist. I mean, bully type energy is what I'm getting here. Like I said, there's been a lot, lots of fights. I mean, your person can feel like they're losing it all, not just financially, but just losing it, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because this person is threatened to um, let, you know, to reveal that your person has been cheating with them and holding these sex tapes. And that when you find, if you found this out, your person. You know what I'm saying? You would kick your person to the curb. Okay? And they know your person don't want that to happen. Alright? They want to keep this shit a secret. They want to keep it a secret. Because they know you would be depressed. If you found out the toxic situation they got this up into. With this third party. And all the shit they go through. Okay? And these recordings. These tapes. That this toxic bitch. Or this toxic motherfucker is holding against them. You know? Videotapes of them having sex. Okay? And this person did this all because they can't be you. All right. And every time they see your person do something and your person try to explain to them that they don't want to be with them no more, they want to be with you. You know, this, this, this karma gets super extremely mad. They need anger management. They yell at them. They, 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 they fuss with them. They talk, you know, start all kinds of drama and stuff like that. And they promise them that they're going to get rid of the evidence or whatever. But spirits say they just be putting on a show. They enjoy the gossip. <laughs> okay. They want you to know that your person has been living foul. Okay. Has been living foul. But your person is tired of playing a game. They want the shit to be over. Okay. 
they only stepped out to fulfill the fantasy and end up destroying your relationship by keeping shit a secret okay and for some of y'all they feel like they still got to keep that secret so if you and your person still in separation and you think that they out having fun with the third party no they're living a miserable life because they run a bunch of fake motherfuckers okay when it was supposed to be a proper relationship it turned out to be like group sex it all this type of shit your person bit off more than they could chew by being you know um disloyal to you and committing infidelity all right yeah they definitely know they fucked up when they made a bad choice getting this uh private relationship whoever your person is they're not happy with the third party as a matter of fact they're very depressed okay and it's nothing about you that they hate um collective nothing about you that they hate but you probably cut this person off already you know what i'm saying you stop having sex with this person okay or either but you tell this person you can't touch me without um, using sexual protection because I know that you're doing something out there but your person is trying everything they can do to hide it. Your person is trying to hide the fact that they're really hurting inside because they can't they, they can't run away from what happened. Okay. They're trying to I don't know, keep this information from getting out. They're trying to keep it keep it from, you know, being a gossip. You know, everybody's talking about what they did with this third party karmic, how this third party karmic has been treating your person, you know, like a sex slave. Basically, that's, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like a, a sex slave, okay? But your person is gathering enough um, emotional emotional um, stability to be able to tell you. Because this shit been going on for a while for some of y'all. It's been going on for a while, okay? it be a lot of pardoning and, 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 and drugs. And stuff like that when they have these sex orgies and your person has become somebody's sex slave, okay? Your person realizing now that this third party crimes that they walk towards is nothing but a hater. Not even just, you know, hating on you and being envious of you trying, you know, because they can't be you. But also just hating on your person for the fact because they can. It's just the this kind of spirit this person carries. They just foul, you know what I'm saying? Your person is realizing they got play here, okay? And shit... They know if you find out everything that they, they've been doing, that shit, everything that y'all ever had with all the pieces, you probably never speak to this person again. Okay? Well, they don't want you to know anything What's about the betrayal here. But something's about to come out. Because your person's fed up. Something's about to reveal itself here. Because your person's definitely tired of the drama. Tired of going through the shit with this third party. Okay. Well. They're willing to stand up and say, hey. I'm going to tell my person the truth. Okay. I'm going to tell the collective the, the, the truth. Okay. Um, you want to keep fighting me because I want to be back with my person. Well, so be it. <laughs> Somebody person is growing some balls here. Okay. Yeah, then it came up with some type of idea, okay? And they're going to tell this karmic, you know, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because I, some your person going to reveal to you what's been going on. Because they sick of this damn karmic. They sick of this karmic. They want the Ten of Cups with you here, okay? They don't want what this, this third party got to offer anymore. Yeah, because it was not it was not what they wanted. They want a cup of love with you here. But they got with a Queen of Cups in reverse here. <clears throat> That really, really hurt them something awful here. Okay. Wow. Every opportunity, every turn, she wanted your person or he wanted your person for sex. And every time they called, they had to go because they had they was holding something over their head. It was almost like they were blackmailing them, you know, with these tapes, or with these sex tapes or whatever. And now your person is starting to hold back their energy and they don't want to move forward with this, you know, shit anymore but your person gonna experience some some bad karma but it was like this third party karmic is overpowering your person here okay was attempting to it's not like almost like they have a whipping chain behind your person and shit like a sex slave <laughs> you know is what i'm getting here but your person is tired of that and they were they ready to come clean with you or whatever they know they backstabbed you and they you know betrayed you and lied to you about the cheating but they also got backstabbed and betrayed by the third party that they went towards okay they feel like they can't they can't move like every time they try to move this third party karmic attacks them you know 
Well, they're going to try to find a way to sneak away from this person. So if you think your person is, you know, falling away from you or just separate from you or don't love you no more, that's not the case. It's, it's just a, they took the wrong opportunity to cheat with the wrong person at the wrong motherfucking time. Okay, they got with a devil and she, uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. What's the devil? They, temptation led them over there. You know, they should never been trying to be sneaky here and lying to you. Okay, wow. Well, the angels want to come in and step in and save, save, uh, save your relationship here, okay? Because right now you're looking at your person like the King of Cups in reverse, like nothing but a liar and a cheater. It's not just that, you know what I'm saying? They want to restore the balance with you, but they can't. They don't want you to find out the fucked up situation they got themselves into. But they want the partnership back here. Uh, this person is crying over spilled milk. Right, they're crying over losing you. They're sad because everything in their life is falling apart because of the bad decision that they made here. Okay? Well, I, I'm, I'm hearing if your person could, could run off and hide, you know, somewhere, they would because they don't want you to find this out. Okay? And they lost a lot of money and they feel like they can't move forward. Okay? And they feel like they're losing the opportunity of being with you. All right? Well, because you're going to find out what they've been doing behind your back here with this controlling ass domineering queen of pentacles yeah she get around she likes to fuck like a bunny rabbit you know how bunny rabbits have like lots of babies they do a lot of fucking yeah that's what she is but she cloaks well until she gets you caught in her web or he gets you caught in the web you know your person probably met this person at a sex shop. Okay, messed up the happy home here. Working on the wrong thing, but shit, it's all about to come out. It's all about to be exposed here. Okay, because your person can't rest. They can't rest. They know the truth is coming out. They on the edge right now. With the food car being here, they on the edge. Wishing they had told you the truth. I told you before it happened. Wow. Now they. They barely. I don't know. Making it day to day. They found out. That this person. You know. They thought they was going to be in a private relationship. It was just going to be. You know. Um, maybe. A, once and every now and then. You know. Sex. When they meet up with this person. At least that's how it started up. With the third party. They meet him every now and then. But this third party had other intentions for your person. And now your person feels like a sex slave here. And they can't seem to get off the ground. Wow. This devil energy. You know. Controlling them. You know. Obsessed with controlling your person here. Okay. Wow. They didn't know this person was as sneaky as they was. That's what I'm getting here. But your person is, is going to fight back. I mean, they're going to fight back because they love you, is what I'm getting here. Against this uh, third party karmic who's holding the shit over their head so they won't be with you. Okay. Wow. She might be not turning in your person's favor right now, and they still may be stuck with this karmic. But they don't want this offer. They're holding back from this karmic. But this karmic got, got them feeling restricted, like they can't move. And this karmic group. But they wanna they wanna tell you that they wanna come back towards you. Okay. But there's a whole bunch of shit that go with it. They fell for the illusion and got over there and got trapped. And they somebody sex slave right now. They wanna put it into it. But whoever this karmic is and did some dark magic on them. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, and they moving them over there. Wherever the fuck they at. But your person is trying to fight through this shit to get out of it. That's the energy um, that I'm picking up on right now. Until next time, you know, I hope this helps somebody in a positive way. And know that your person just didn't leave you out in the cold on purpose. Uh, they've been manipulated by dark energy attachments like this third party karmic who tricked your person over in there. And your person fell for the shit and fell in the shit. Okay? And until next time, peace, love, and light.